Hey guys, it's your girl Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on the channel. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos and today I'm going to be sharing a business planner review with you guys. This is the My PA 2022 Planner. I will have all the information in the description box for you guys to check out. Special thanks to the My PA Planner team for sending me this planner to review and share with you guys. But with any review here on the channel, all opinions are my own. But let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, this is a very large, comprehensive planner, as you can see from first look. I do want to note that while this is the physical copy, there's also a digital version available as well. And if you're looking to test out this planner to see if it'll work for you, you can sign up for their newsletter and get a free edition of the planner. So the physical copy is $45 and the digital is 59. I'm not exactly sure why there is a price discrepancy there, but because this is a physical copy and 2022 is quickly approaching, I'm wondering if the price is lower because of that. But let's go ahead and take a closer look because there is so much in this planner. The dimensions are 24 by 18 by 2.5 centimeters. It has this sleek black cover. There is an elastic band and there are two bookmarks for you to leave it on whatever pages you want and of course you can add in more tabs with sticky notes as well. So when you open it up, here's the gold cover. You can also add folders here to maximize your space and add in any additional papers you may want. Then there's this space here, the standard This Planner Belongs To page. Then there's this welcome page, this quote, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. Then it gives you more of what the My PA Planner is, what you will be able to accomplish, and how to use it. So the My PA, your 2022 planner, will help you achieve your goals, manage your time, be more productive, be more organized, stay focused, keep it all in one place, overcome overwhelm, be inspired, remember your ideas, work smarter, stay positive, balance work and life. Then how to get the most out of your planner gives you a step-by-step -step guide. Then we move on to the actual work pages. So you have your 2021 review, your 2022 targets, listing 50 things you want to achieve in the next 10 years. Your life, there are 18 slots and different questions here for you to answer. And then your 2022 bucket list. If you're planning only to make money and nothing else, you'll be broke. List anything you want to do this year, big or small, and tick them off as you go. Then you move on to the 2022 business plan. You were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. What is your why? Your vision this year in five years, and then your vision over here as far as visualizing. This is where you can bring in little clippings and create mini vision boards this year, five years. And if you are using the digital version of this planner, you can get really creative with this. What is your big mission this year in your business? What are your big goals for 2022? Then bringing your brand and business to life, describing your product, what problem is your business trying to address? How is your product going to solve this problem? And then additional pages of questions. Then analyzing your competition and then a SWOT analysis, which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and a description of each for you to fill that out. Then moving on to the marketing plan. So once you have the idea and the vision down, how can you actually bring it to life? So first up is defining your target audience, how you will sell your product and services, and there's lots of information here to walk you through the process. It's your own little business buddy here. How will you sell your product services, including email marketing? How exactly would you build your email list? Webinars, advertising, your social media marketing plan, blogging, video marketing, podcasting, your PR plan, including contests, 
than your 2022 project planner brainstorm pages, then any collabs and connections you would like to make, and then your monthly, weekly, daily tasks. And there's a slot for each of those. Then moving on to the financial plan. What's cool about this is you have your personal 2022 survival budget. So you're comparing your personal expenses to what you would be spending within your business. So then you also have the 2022 profit and loss forecast, your 2022 balance sheet forecast, and then you have this planner here. Any important dates that you have, you could get those dot stickers. They're, they are available on Amazon and you can mark off any important dates or create a key up top to correlate with what you marked off. Then we move into the first month. You have the monthly up top, a sidebar with notes, and then a habit tracker. Then your goals and actions and project planner for the month. And because you mapped out everything on an annual scale, you can then take those notes that you created and then put them into their appropriate places within each monthly. Then you have your social media content planner. I absolutely love this page. So you put the date, your type of content, and what type of content it is, whether it's a blog, video, image, webinar, live video, text post, podcast, infographic, poll, curated content, call to action, and then the platform that you're posting on. Then you get into your weekly so you have this hourly type format. The weekend, as you can see, is split into two sections for a.m. and p.m. At the end of each day, there is a wellness tracker. And then you have your regular action, goals, project, action calls, to watch, read, notes, ideas, any additional notes, and to buy expenses. This is a layout that you could mix with your personal schedule, or you can just strictly leave it for anything business related that you have. Then you have your weekly review, which gets into more projection as far as how many sales did you make, how many new email subscribers, what was your social media growth, writing in all the numbers on the different platforms, whichever one doesn't apply to you. You can omit it. You can also always use whiteout and put in something else. I do see that TikTok is not here, so you can always adjust that. Your achievements, big or small, what goals didn't you achieve, what do you need to achieve these goals in a gratitude journal? Then you have your weekly inspiration, more mind mapping, brainstorming. And then you get into the next week and that continues throughout the whole entire planner. Now at the end of the month, there is a January profit and loss statement, a January cash flow, and then you get into the next month. Also to note that the beginning of the next month is in the previous month. A lot of planners will take January 31st and put it in February, and whenever February ends, that overlapping week will be in the next month. So February, the first week starts the week of the 7th. So that's something to note. Then we get to the end of the planner. After your December profit and loss statement and cash flow, there's a review of 2022, another project planner page, 2023 calendar, contacts pages, several of those. Then there are lined pages, a couple grid pages, and then also some blank pages. And all of these, if you don't want to permanently write on the page, you can of course use my favorite method, which is the sticky note method. You can also bring in list pads and tape them in to maximize the pages if you don't want to write on the pages themselves. Of course, it's time for my pros and cons. Is this planner worth buying? If you are someone that wants to get your business on track and need more assistance in guiding you through that process, absolutely look into this planner. Personally, I would check out the digital edition. I do have my iPad Air that I use for all of my digital planning and designing in business. That is what I would use that for because it would be easier to carry around because this is a very large planner. So a con for me is the size, but 
I can turn that con into a pro because the digital option is available. Also, the overwhelming layout could be a lot for some people, but when you are trying to get your business started, you have to take it section by section. Don't let the planner in all of the pages throw you off. You literally have to take it section by section, and you don't have to feel obligated to fill out the entire first half of this planner, which literally goes to about here. You don't have to be obligated or feel that you have to fill all this out in one sit down. It is a process. It's about writing things down, mapping out your goals, brainstorming, and making it make sense for you. You may be in the process of wanting to create your business, but you're not ready to start in January. You may not be ready until the spring, the second quarter of 2022. This is a great guide though to get you started. So while this layout may be overwhelming and there's a lot going on in this planner, this is an all-inclusive layout to help guide you through building a brand. And that is what's most important. You need some place to start. You need a place where things are broken down for you, where you can start filling things in. And there may be questions in here that you may not have ever thought about in creating and building your brand. So that is where this comes in handy. Another con for me though is I don't like that the month doesn't end in the overlapping week. I would prefer that to be in the next month, but that's a personal con because that's what I'm used to. Also not having any tabs, but you could easily go and get Avery labels or you can go to Dollar Tree, but these are available on Amazon. I'll have them linked below and you can mark off your months like this. You can ev even mark off the sections from the marketing plan to the financial plan, the business plan. You can give all of those a tab. And then of course, there are the bookmarks here. But if you are someone that thrives on tabs like myself, just to be able to easily navigate through this physical planner, then the tabs may be a better option for you. But overall, I would, the price point is high, I'm not gonna lie. But if you are serious about getting your business started, then you may want to look into this planner. But I would suggest checking out the free version before making a purchase to see if it's actually something that you want to try out and commit to in the long run. So that is it for this review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box for more information on how to purchase as well as sign up for this freebie of the My PA Planner. Again, special thanks to the My PA Planner team for sending me this planner to review. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Would love to have you stick around. Please click that subscribe button and notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.